This is the second video in the series. In our previous video, we created a Hello World application that was very simple. We're going to continue on that simple theme, but in this video, I'm going to add a class that we create and then integrate it into the, into the GUI aspects of Android. In our last demonstration, we ended right here, where we created a very simple Hello World Android application using the Android Studio. We were able to get the application uh, generated, deployed to the Android phone, and running. And so I'm going to take this now and just put it in the background and get us back to our, to our visual studio or application studio. So the first thing that you see here is that we have under context underscore main.xml, we have a little phone here. This phone should match fairly closely with the one that you chose, although there's a drop down right here where you can pick a phone. I was using a 5, so I'm going to pick a 5. It doesn't make a ton of difference, but the layouts can be a little bit different. So what I want to show you in this particular um, demonstration is how to write a class that you can then integrate with Android. Okay. So one thing that I teach in some of my uh, classes that deal with Visual Studio, you know, Visual Basic and C Sharp, is we don't want to have a UI-centric development. Uh, process because it actually can lead to some problems and you know this kind of lends itself to a UI centric uh, process so I'm gonna try to avoid that so we're gonna create a class and I'm gonna create it in here and so I right click on my contain my package and I'm gonna create a Java class I'm gonna call it calculate and this is just a normal Java class you don't have to worry about androiding it up or anything like that and I'm gonna have two integers we're gonna call them number one and I can type and number two and we're going to have a constructor that takes two ints. The first int we'll call number one, and the second one we'll call number two. And we'll use this construct structure to actually populate these two values. So this number one equals number one, and this number two equals number two. Okay. And then I'm going to create a class that returns the sum of these two, number one plus number two. Okay, so a very simple class here, and I'm going to shut that thing down. Now, we're going to talk about how to kind of wire this class into our Android app. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a, I'm going to drag a plain text view, which is basically a label, over onto the Okay, it's adding them, but it's just not showing them. I'm going to take get rid of the Hello World here. So this is called Text View. You'll notice that every component in Android has an ID, and it, this one's called Text View. So the first thing we need to do is kind of create a hook to this thing, and we do it in Main Activity. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is here's my imports. I've already have. <clears throat> well, let's see. Let me import a an object type widget text view, and then down here inside of my class, I'm going to call that, I'm going to have text view, and we'll call this my label. And then down here in onCreate, onCreate is a, um, an event handler that is fired off when our initial activity comes on the screen. And so here are some things that we can do. So the first thing is I'm going to take text view, well, let's do it this way, my label. We have to cast it as a text view. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to connect my object here in this class with the resource that's on the in the content.main. And so we do that by saying find view by ID R, which means is for resource, ID, and then it's called text view. Okay? So again, this line here is going to connect with this. Okay, there's got to be an equals in here somewhere. I think that's why our, there we go. And I'm spelling label wrong. All right, <laughs> all right, so here we go. This has a connection. All right, the second thing that we need to do is we need to make our calculate class available to us. So I'm going to say calculate calc. I'm going to declare it up here, and then down in here, 
I'm going to instantiate it. New. And remember that when we created our, our constructor, we needed to put in two integers to set the values of those. All right, now let's use that thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to display the calculation that we make in this field. Okay, so we're going to say my label, that's our handle to the text field, dot set text. Set text is the method to set the value, text value. And then we're going to say calc dot add numbers. Now remember add numbers returns an integer. So we have to convert this darn thing to a string. So we can do it like this. And that will just simply convert our integer to a string. Okay. So let's see what happens here now that we have this running. I'm going to click the run button and it's going to take some time to build and so I'm going to pause and then we'll come back. Okay, so it took a couple of minutes, maybe a minute and a half, to reload, and you'll notice now that we have the value of 30 showing in our label. And if I drop this down, you'll notice again that we said calculate, and we passed it a 10 and a 20, and our calculate class takes, sets the 10 and the 20 in the constructor here and then adds them together to give us 30. So there again is a very, very simple example of how we can use something other than just GUI in, uh, in an Android application. And so as you start to build out an application, you want to use Android, this is a definitely a good opportunity for you.